to my YouTube channel. We are going to be starting the series on uh, .NET programming, specifically VB.NET, and we are going to be using Visual Studio 2019, and we are going to start with basic concepts and then some advanced topics in uh, VB.NET. So let's get started. On to if conditions, condi uh, conditional formatting, like when you want to change um, the execution pattern or sequence of the program, you use uh, if and in um, vp.net we have this keyword if, the condition and the keyword then. Instead of uh, opening bracket it has end, then and then we have end if. And if you have any else condition you can give here uh, or if you have any other condition after if. Uh, after else, sorry, so you can give else if, then the condition, the keyword then, your code, and then you have else, if there is no other condition, you can simply type else, uh, we are going to run uh, a bit of a condition, um, uh, sorry, uh, here, right here, we are going to be seeing what happens, console uh, dot uh, write, uh, we are going to print a uh, greater okay if uh, the other one is true we uh, will print less and in the third we will print equal like you can print anything you want this is just condition so and we were going to initialize i with 4 and if it is greater of course this is greater than 1 so it has to print greater so we will build our solution first then we will debug, start debugging and right here you see the answer, it is greater, this is the answer that should come. So you can press any key to exit and close uh, this window or cancel. So that's what uh, we basically have done, if then, else, else if and so on. Then we have comparison operator, not operator basically negates, i is equal to 1 negate if it's not i is equal to 1 in other languages you we usually use an exclamation mark or if uh, any of the condition is true we use or and if all the conditions are true then we use and mm, and then we have uh, here not and, um, and and what else we have we can use uh, select case as well uh, what is a select case basically it's like a switch in switch we have switch here and then we have uh, the what do you say the conditions given here you can give any condition then we have these cases and uh, select ends with a end select you should also remember always remember most of the statements are ending with end space the keyword so that's uh, another important part of it for example then my string as string is equal to intro uh, we i'm going to introduce you with the strings when i uh, move on to the classes and objects then um, select case my string if string is equal to intro then uh, whatever you want to print if it is equal to exit you can print anything else and so on and finally the end select for uh, we are going to be using for loop for int loop this is the variable you have to initialize first equal to one and up to it will go thousand for example this is basically initialization and this is the ending condition uh, then we are going to uh, print a long string and so on. I am going to talk about strings later. And this next keyword right here, it moves on to the next condition until until this um, particular condition is true. So simply what we are going to do is we are going to implement um, this in our uh, program here. Um, I'll just copy. Uh, copy this here and we just start um, the uh, sorry dim int loop loop as integer okay and we will print console dot write line uh, int loop So int loop would be printed thousand times. We just make it, I think, uh, ten times so that it's easy to see the output. So what we are going to do here is we are going to move our application build build solution. Then we are going to debug this, and 
uh, you see this is printed 10 times from 1 to 10 so you can uh, loop through um, <coughs> any times <coughs> you want and 